I met Dylan Jones. I got invited to dinner with uh, with Nick Rhodes from uh, from Duran Duran and Mark Bronson and Dylan about two years ago. I've met George uh, on a few occasions. I don't know him well, but I've met him on half a dozen occasions, yeah. I've read GQ magazine for years. I've known about Dylan and, and always kind of, you know, been interested in fashion. So Dylan's quite a prominent character in, in, in menswear in Britain. He's a uh, very young, very trendy uh, television presenter, sort of man on the make, in a good way. He's everything you have to be if you want to be a prominent editor of a of a major magazine in the UK, you know, and 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 he's a he's a power player and um, and so uh, uh, he's he's perceived as that. I'm quite intrigued to talk to George because I think it's always interesting if you've been brought up in a showbiz family, how that dynamic plays out, uh, how that affects your aspirations, your ambitions, and uh, what you want to do with your life. He's very kind of. Uh diplomatic with the with, with his approach and and you know with with how much he kind of actually gives away and i suppose it's just interesting to have a bit of time to uh, a, a bit of time and free reign to try and pull a little bit more out of him i think he's here so um we'll go and have a chat dylan's in the building i hear uh, it's time to go and find out uh, what uh, what lies behind that uh, that smirk and that kind of guarded posture and uh, and and we'll uh, we'll find out about the uh, the real dylan jones <laughs>